Hello, this is Trader Joe's doing my first ever YouTube knife review. Uh, I just got these two today from Kylie in New Zealand. And this is awesome. It's the, uh, the one that they described as uh, being a little thinner than the other one. But it actually seems like it's quite sturdy to me and thick. This is my dog Charlie. Excuse me, Charlie. This is the one he made for me with the uh, the burl handle. I asked him to make this for me. And uh, it came out very nice, beautiful. Perfect shape for my hand. Uh, some people had asked about why the uh, the handle's a little thicker on this side as opposed to this side. It's because I'm, I'm right-handed and it fits my hand a little better. It fits me better than the other one did. Now, uh, I've got a number of different knives from Kylie already. Um, as a comparison, I was going to show a couple of them. I have the, uh, the Hiker. I've been wearing this uh, on my neck for basically a couple of months now. Very nice. Very uh, convenient to have. Um, I have the... Uh, he had a nice set, a high-end set, that I purchased from him. Uh, with the... Um, hopefully you can see these in the video. Um, the mosaic pins. I guess not. I don't know. It doesn't show up that well, but it's very nice. Uh, I was going to do a comparison of the thickness of the blades. The um, This one is actually quite a bit thicker than I was expecting. And as a comparison, I was going to put this one. So this one's hard to do this one-handed. But the uh, you can see that the belt knife is about... Damn, it's hard to see this in the video. The, don't lick the knife, Charlie. You silly goose. Oh, let me put this dog away. Charlie, go away. Go away. Alright. Um, the knives are excellent. Uh, I hope to uh, try them out in the field to see how they uh, they function. Uh, I do have a piece of wood here that I could try to whittle on if you like. Um, Kylie included this nice card with the knife. Uh, I've seen other people read these as well. Uh, basically, it's a certificate of authenticity. Uh, that the knife is made of uh, 01 tool steel for the adventure knife. That's the name of this one. I actually forgot the name of it before. Uh, it's 01 tool steel. It's 3 millimeters thick. And it's a convex Scandi grind. Uh, it has the measurement and the weight. And that the handles are Wangi wood with uh, the blue liners. And the uh, handmade mosaic pins. And the uh, handmade Kydex sheath, which is here. I'll show you, show you in a second if once my dog starts l stops licking my head. And then, um, and that this was made on the water jet, the, uh, I mean, the initial uh, shape of it. Uh, I do have the original water, sh water jet blank that he had, uh, he was so kind to provide me with my earlier shipment. And let's see. And that's this one. This is the, uh, the sample blank for the blade that will become this. And you can see, very similar. Um, obviously it's quite a bit thinner than the uh, than the actual knife. Um, and everything lines up basically the same. But this is just the shape that he's, he had sent to me just so I could see it. And then uh, this is the actual knife. And I got a little bit of a knife fetish here it seems. Excuse me Charlie. Alright, so this is my first video. I'm very pleased, Kylie. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope to be using these very soon. And uh, this one is perfect. I really like the the, uh, the handle. I like the uh, the burl and the um, the uh, I feel what you call that hmm. lanyard hole. And this looks like very nice, this stuff in here that you use. I'm not sure what you actually call it, but it's uh, like an epoxy. And the, uh, the handle feels very nice and secure in my hand. It's a nice rounded over on the back of the blade. You did a very nice job polishing it. And, of course, it's the same blade as on the uh, other hikers. This one's the, an, another high-end one with the, with, the, um, with the custom homemade pins as well. I wish I had a better quality imagery on the camera, but this is part of my collection here, okay? I'm a big fan of Kylie, and I appreciate the uh, 
handmade, homemade um, nature of of people who do things uh, in cottage industries. So I'm a big supporter of that. I'd rather buy these types of knives and spend more, much more money on something that's made in a factory. This is something that was done by a human hand and shaped by human hand and eyes, you know, as opposed to uh, something like uh, my everyday carry up to this point has been like this uh, Spyderco that I've had for a number of years, for maybe 20 years now actually I've had this knife. And uh, it's very nice and it does everything I need it to do. However, now I've become more of a fan of the um, convex edge and the uh, non-serrated edges. These have a benefit in certain ways, but these are much easier to sharpen than these. And uh, I also got this nice, massive uh, sheath from Kylie as well. Okay, so this is uh, Trader Joe's signing off. Thank you, Kylie. Bye.